Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Pictured here are three brown trout that I had caught. And that night, I took them home, I cleaned them up and cooked them. And I made a video, so this is the end result. I uh, hope you enjoy it, hope you learned something, and I'll be talking to you along the way. some extra virgin olive oil. So I've got one medium sized onion here and um, just want to saute the onion up a little bit, get it a little caramelized, gotta love that caramelized flavor. I'm gonna chop up a clove of garlic now. I use a lot of garlic in my cooking, especially in the last few years. Um, it's really healthy for you, it reduces cholesterol. Uh, blood pressure. It's a good antioxidant. Throw our garlic in with the onions. Okay, I got my brown trout here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper on it. And because these trout are so small, I don't even bother filleting them. Uh, I leave it right on the bone, and it does taste better. Put a little Italian seasoning. But once that's cooked good, the filet falls right off, or you can just peel it off with a fork very easily. Also going to try a little bit of paprika. I've been using paprika a lot more in my cooking lately. A little peppery taste. It's really good on chicken. Just gives it way more flavor. Sweet peppers. That is. Paprika just sweetens things up a bit, and um, if you haven't cooked with it yet, I highly recommend it. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put the trout in a bag. I'm going to take my Italian style breadcrumbs, put it in the bag. Okay. Just shake it up really good. Kind of along the same lines as shake and bake. Yeah, so I just had some hashed potatoes in my freezer that were left over. I would taken them on a few ice fishing trips. And I figured I'd use those up instead of cutting up fresh potatoes. But they do good. Ugh. They do go good with fish. And uh, this is just a quick meal and frying up. I usually don't fry, by the way. 90% um, of the time I'm baking, but it is nice to cook on the cast iron skillet like this. I kind of think of this meal as cabin food. I mean, it's nothing elaborate, but it's pretty quick and easy to make. Yeah, I think food tastes much better when cooking with cast iron as opposed to like uh, conventional pans like Teflon. So 
always good to have potatoes with fish. I like it anyway. I mean, I know Teflon's a non-stick, but you know, if you keep your pan seasoned really well, it's not going to stick with cast iron. Plus, you're getting um, a bit of the iron from the pan seeps into your food, and they're totally safe levels of iron. I just think it, it has much better flavor. Uh, that's my opinion, anyways. Throw a little salt on there. A little pepper. And why not a little Italian seasoning? Just to give it a kick. A little bit of cayenne pepper. If you see me if you see me cook fish in other shows, you know I like cayenne pepper. A little bit of paprika. Sweeten it up a little bit. Let that cook up for a bit. I'm gonna mix in my garlic and onions with the potatoes. All right. All right, let that heat up a little bit longer. I like my potatoes a little bit crispy, so I'm gonna leave them cook a little bit longer, but they're almost done. You're probably wondering why I'm not using this burner uh, it broke last week, so I have to buy a new stove, and um, my kitchen space is limited, so I have to use this little two-burner system. It's no big deal. I think it cost me like 40 bucks. I'll just get another one. So once these are done, I'm going to put the potatoes on the plate, cover it, make sure they're warm, and then I'm going to cook the fish, and we'll be ready to eat. This is done. Fish. Get this covered. Stay nice and warm. Let's put the small one in first. Oh yeah. It's ready. Smaller ones to the outside. Definitely done. It's gonna cook quicker. So, this one is done. Yeah, that's done. The fillet is falling off. Right.
time to eat. See you in a bit. Okay, here we have it. Fresh brown trout that I caught this afternoon. You have uh, hash, potatoes, garlic, onions, all sauteed. A little ketchup here. And I put a little of uh, Pete's hot sauce here. And I got, of course, I got a glass of red wine, which I like to have every once in a while with my meal. So uh, let's taste it. See how it is. Let's try the potatoes. Try to keep the eating noises down to a minimum. Mm. Simply delicious. <laughs> Give the fish a try. Mmm. <laughs> Just funny listening to yourself eat. Melts in your mouth. Technically my first uh, cooking and video. We have some crispy skin here. I did a couple ice fishing videos where I cooked a little bit out there, but this is the first uh, all cooking but no fishing. So that's it. It's pretty simple. Uh, salt, pepper, Italian seasoning. Italian pepper and paprika too. Italian breadcrumbs little lemon juice, fry up some garlic and onions with some potato hash, glass of wine or a beer, whatever your choice is. And uh, as they say in Italian, eat, manja, enjoy. Also, you can watch the video where I caught these fish. I'm going to call it three browns and three brooks. So thanks for watching. So I will be doing more cooking videos. Um, fishing season is just getting going, so I'll be, um, well, cooking up more fish. But uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe. It really helps my channel out. It's just one click away, and I'll do the same for you as well. And as always, get out there, have fun, enjoy the outdoors, and I'll see you on the next adventure.